Yeah. So I, uh, uh, I talked to Epic Games, and they were cool enough to let me release the uh, Carapace source code. So I thought that before I would do that, well, there's two things. You know, I thought before I would do that, I would go through and clean it up a little bit and just look for anything that's really bad or, or misleading. And the second thing is, you know, if they asked me to, you know, to remove all of the epic badging and stuff like that, so it's not an epic release anymore. So that's been done. Um, now it's just a matter of sanity checking the code, just taking a look at stuff. There's probably nothing that really needs to be done because I've updated, you know, like I said, all the badging and stuff already, but, and the icon, but it's, it's more a matter of, I'm trying to make sure that if someone looks at this and makes the mistake of thinking that someone who's good at programming wrote it, that they won't get the wrong idea about how things should and shouldn't be done. <laughs> yeah, just, sorry, a little bit of self-deprecation. I'm really not all that up on current coding stuff. It's been so long and so long since I worked on this that it's, it, it definitely has a lot of weird crap in it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, hopefully people will be, you know, who are interested will be able to take a look at this and port it to whatever you know, system they want to port it to. You know, I've gotten a lot of requests for like, you know, uh, could you make a Mac version? Could you make a, a iOS version? Can you make a version that runs in a web browser? And I, you know, frankly, I just don't, well, A, you know, I don't have the hardware to do that. You know, I don't have a Mac and that kind of stuff. And B, it's uh, just a matter of time. You know, it's a time issue. I am, I'm allocating time for this, but in, in terms of ports and stuff, I just don't have the time for that. There's my bounding box code. It's, it's pretty darn straightforward. Trace line. Yeah, these are the uh, you know the blue lines you can draw that uh, will drop vanishing points here at the intersections. But yeah, their implementation is just a, a drawing routine. So vanishing points. These are the uh, circles with the numbers on them. You can have up to nine of these, which I actually forget why I went so high on that. Like realistically, you, you only need like three to get three point perspective but there was some reason why I included support for nine and this is the code that draws those those yellow lines that connect the vanishing points to the picture plane it's yeah very brute force which is what you need when you're doing um you know something on like a Friday afternoon I coded this during epic Friday but obviously, you know, there was work done after that to, you know, to clean it up and get it finalized so I could actually release it. But for a couple of days work, I, you know, it definitely is a program that uh, won't die because people keep asking me about it and it seems worth, you know, worth taking a look at it. Now, what is this thing? Okay. This is the viewport panel. This is the actual thing that we draw on, I, st I think. Now, you see me deleting all these using lines at the top. That's because uh, uh, this is the new Visual Studio 2017 release that just came out like, like yesterday. So I thought, screw it, I'll fire it up in that. And uh, yeah, there was a cool option in there for uh, you know, having it highlight uh, using things that aren't actually being used for anything. So it's just a little bit of of, of code cleanup help. So that draws, draws the overlays and that kind of stuff. And there's an old line of code that I was using for debugging, I think, so I could track the camera position and stuff. But the actual app just shows you the zoom level. Mm -hmm. String stuff.
preview key down. It's been so long. I, I think that's just that's how .NET was was working. This is where all the keys get you know get handled here, and the app reacts to them all. The up and down cursor keys and. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is some code I found that uh, helps convert your, your your graphics buffer to to black and white, so I can copy it to the clipboard like that. Yeah, kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. Looks like it grays out the full uh, the full name if you don't need it. I like that. That still compiles. It does. Excellent. Less code is usually always a good thing. Handle vanishing point. Yeah, okay, good. All right. And then the world CS. This is where you know, most of the meat and potatoes of Carapace live. The world. Yeah. I, I write everything like a game programmer. There's a world and there's actors inside of it and it's just how my brain is tuned. There was one thing I wanted to do in here. This randomizes the uh, vanishing point colors just to make that simple. Request draw. That actually, no, I don't think that's actually called by anybody. If I delete that, is it still builds? Okay, yeah, that was a dead function. Nice. Um, draw to bitmap. Okay. <laughs> that's my Pomodoro timer telling me that this session is <laughs> over, but we're gonna hammer through a little bit. This was actually something that I wanted to deal with. Oh, okay. No, so this is actually fine. Uh, in my head, I had this weird memory that all, uh, that all of the help text was just being, uh, it's a giant string that was being generated with a bunch of pluses like you see over here on the left, but I didn't um, not count on the fact that Y is incrementing, so it drops down one line every time. It's it's fine. It's not the most optimal thing in the world, but then again, that pretty much describes Carapace. Yeah, the response to this app is actually something that's uh, has always surprised me because it's just not that. Complicated of an application, like I think people are, um, you know, they're attributing too much to it. Is that dead? It is. Like what it's actually doing is it's just uh, the vanishing points represent uh, points in space, and they are, are basically each vanishing point has a bunch of lines that radiate out from it, and you can increase the density of those lines or decrease the density. And all that, you know, that's really what it is. So you have you know, a uh, star over here shooting out lines and a star over here shooting out lines. And then they, uh, those lines converge and cross and that becomes the perspective grid. Now, the one cool feature that it does do is, you know, where you can draw the trace lines and it figures out the intersection point for you. That's handy because with that, you can take an existing image and, and figure out the perspective grid so you can draw on it, you know, easily. That's cool. Yeah, you know, I'll give you that. Okay, that that function is being used. And generic draw box is being used. Draw circle must be. What about draw polygon? Draw polygon is not being used for anything. Yeah, I, 
this must have been stuff that I was, uh, or code that I was putting in just as I was experimenting with what I wanted Carapace to look like and operate like. But that's definitely used. Drawbox is never used. Good. Go away. Make sure we're still compiling. We are. Okay. That one's being used. That one's used. Draw text is pretty obviously used. Add delta to viewport camera. Let's just do a quick search. Yeah, is being used. Okay. So, all right, let's give it a run here. Make sure that it's still functional. Is that, we can drop control points down. I constantly forget the uh, the hotkeys. Uh, I might just put like a constant banner at the top here that says, you know, press F1 for help. Because I'm always forgetting. How do you randomize those colors? Can you do that? You can. You can shuffle colors with S. That's what that random VP colors thing was doing. Neat. Uh, H to straighten up the horizon line. Yeah. Okay. This does seem to function. And just to verify that the trace lines are working, we're going to take this screenshot from uh, Dishonored 2 and see if we can, can generate a grid. So we grab two, two of these. Control Shift 1. We will take this line and this line. Control Shift 2. Yeah, this is functioning. And that line and that line will be the control point three. If I get rid of the background image, there's your perspective grid for drawing on that image. So yeah, this all seems functional. Good. I guess there's not much more to say, except I'm going to need to package this up and uh, get it uploaded. See you next time.